Bev Missing. I'm the founder of Rain, which is now 15 years old. We have eight stores in South Africa currently, and then we have three stores in the USA. One we've just opened in California, and we have two in New York. I um, started the company as a job creation initiative in the Eastern Free State to try and combat some of the crime in our little village. And it's grown from there, and we're doing the same thing in Swellendam now. Um, hopefully making an impact on a small town with a lot of job creation. We are one of the few fair trade beauty companies in the world because fair trade typically doesn't go hand in hand with beauty. So we're quite proud of that. We also beauty with our cruelty accredited. We use African botanicals, mostly wild harvested. So that gives us a lovely edge in the export market, especially in America where we are expanding. So to keep the, the handmade side and the job creation, we have a lot of products that are handmade like packaging and face cloth gloves, accessories for the bath, that kind of thing, slippers, so that that is really the handmade side of the brand. We had wonderful assistance um, last year with the CCDI, the Cape Craft and Design Institute, with a government grant to help us create more jobs. Um, they helped us to set up our spas. We've got three currently in the back of our stores, three of our stores. Treatment rooms, so that is employing therapists. Um, they also helped us to develop a spa professional range, so products that we sell to other spas to use in their treatments. And our biology range, um, on our retail shelves is the smaller packaging of that, so that was fantastic. They've also helped us with our perfume range, three perfumes which are also with very interesting African um, ingredients and also helped us to get some of our products compliant for the EU to export next year. We want to start opening stores in the EU. As I said, the CCDI um, enabled us to access money from the Jobs Fund. It's not very easy as a small company to go directly to the Jobs Fund. So we're very grateful to the Cape Craft and Design Institute that were the kind of mediators. And um, I think we've put that money to fantastic use and we've delivered on the jobs, which is not the easiest thing to do. 